We're to describe the behavior of the following systems without solving. To do this, we'll first write each system as a vector equation in the form of vector x prime equals matrix P times vector x. In this form, if we determine the eigenvalues of matrix P, we can then determine the behavior of the system. The table below summarizes our previous lesson where in the first column we have the type of eigenvalues. In the second column, we have the corresponding behavior of the system. So for part A, we have x prime equals x plus y and y prime equals x minus y. This gives us the vector equation, the vector x prime at y prime equals the two by two matrix with entries one, 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 negative one times the vector x, y. Notice now we know matrix P is the two by two matrix with entries one, 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 negative one. The next step is to determine the eigenvalues of matrix P. Recall to do this, we need to set up the equation, the determinant of the difference of matrix P and lambda I equals zero and then solve for lambda. So here we have the setup. Simplifying inside the parentheses, we have the determinant of the two by two matrix with entries one minus lambda one, one negative one minus lambda. And now we evaluate the determinant, which gives us one minus lambda times negative one minus lambda minus one times one equals zero. Simplifying on the left, we end up with lambda squared minus two equals zero. To solve for lambda, we add two to both sides and take the square root of both sides, which gives us lambda equals plus or minus square root two. Notice how we have two real eigenvalues, one positive and one negative. Looking at our table, this is when the eigenvalues are real and opposite signs, and therefore the behavior of the system is a saddle. From our previous lesson, here's an example of a picture showing the behavior of a saddle. This is not the exact behavior of this system, but it does show the behavior of a saddle. And now let's take a look at part B. For part B, we have x1 prime equals x1 plus x2, and x2 prime equals 2x2. Again, the first step is to write a vector equation in the form of vector x prime equals p times vector x, which gives us the vector x1 prime, x2 prime equals the two by two matrix with entries one, one, zero, two, times the vector x1, x2. And now we determine the eigenvalues of matrix P. We begin by setting up the equation, simplifying, and then evaluating the determinant. The determinant is equal to one minus lambda times two minus lambda minus one times zero, and then we set this equal to zero and solve for lambda. Simplifying, we have lambda squared minus three lambda plus two equals zero, which is factorable. The two factors are lambda minus one and lambda minus two, giving us the eigenvalues of one and two. Because we have two real positive eigenvalues, the behavior is a source, sometimes referred to as an unstable node. And here's a graph that shows a source. And now for part C, we have x1 prime equals negative two x2, and x2 prime equals two x1. Following the same procedure, we have the vector x1 prime, x2 prime equals the two by two matrix with entries zero, negative two, two, and zero, times the vector x1, x2. And now we determine the eigenvalues of matrix P. The determinant is equal to negative lambda times negative lambda minus negative two times two, which simplifies to lambda squared plus four setting this equal to zero and solving, we have lambda equals plus or minus two i. Because we have two purely imaginary eigenvalues, the behavior of the system is a center point, where for the graph we have ellipses, as shown here on the right. And for our last example, part d, we have x prime equals x plus three y and y prime equals negative two x minus four y. This gives us the vector equation, the vector x prime y prime equals the two by two matrix with entries one, three, negative two, negative four, times the vector x, y. Once again, we determine the eigenvalues of matrix P. The determinant is equal to one minus lambda times negative four minus lambda, minus three times negative two. Simplifying, we have lambda squared plus three lambda plus two equals zero, which is factorable. The factors are lambda plus two and lambda plus one and therefore the eigenvalues are negative two and negative one. Because we have two real negative eigenvalues, the behavior is a sink, 
sometimes referred to as a stable node. And here's a graph that shows the behavior of a sync or stable node. I hope you found this helpful.